<sighs> hey everyone. Um, I know I haven't uploaded in a really long time, and obviously you should be expecting that by now. Um, I sound sick. I'm not. I just woke up, so yeet. Um, today I'm just going to be finally doing that um, OC thing that I talked about last time. Um, so yeah, today we're just going to start off with my first OC, Tanner. I, I wanted to start off with Owen Loki, but um, I didn't want to. Um, so we're just going to start off with Tanner because that kind of just makes the most sense since he was the first one. So I'm just going to start off by talking about the, um, comic, um, story and the plot and whatever. Okay. So originally the idea was for me to, um, make a character who was very unlucky that was like the original thing. Plus, I wanted to make him a skater. Um, so that's where Tanner came from. And um, originally it was like just about him skating and whatnot. But that just got really boring really quickly. Like right after the first, um, what is it called? Um, strip. So then the comic just evolved into a high school setting thing rather than just a skating thing because I'm really not into that so it just turned into a whole high school problems relationships sort of thing and yeah that's, that's basically the whole thing um so with Tanner in particular he his backstory is that he um shoot wait wait I don't want to talk about that okay so with Tanner um he like in the comic he is in an abusive relationship with this girl named Lucille who is older than him I think she's about 19 he's 18 yeah he's in an abusive relationship that he does that he doesn't know how to get out of and <clears throat> Frick. <clears throat> um, his dad is really whack and like low key crazy. I mean, he's not crazy, but he's just not the best dad. He's kind of horrible. Um, yeah, so his home life is kind of just shit, and his, his relationship with his girlfriend is actual shit. Um, and he can't even, you know, just relax at school, you know, like, I, I just kind of had fun at school. I, I did well in school, but I also had fun because I had friends and everything, but plot twist, his dad is his math teacher and his, him and his friends have that class. So it was just like, it's a big yeet, it's a big boy yeet. Um, so yeah, um, what else? Okay, so Tanner is a skater, as I said in the beginning. Um, he... <laughs> He's supposed to be really good. Like, I, I've drawn a few, like, maybe, like, a handful of, like, skating studies. Um, they're really, they're not hard, but, like, the twists and turns are a little tricky. Anyway... Um, yeah, and that's basically all he does in his free time is just either skate or just hang out with his friends because he's never at home because, as I said, his home life is a little bit stinky. Um, his little sister, Annie, is, she's not, she's not bad. She's just, she's kind of just like a punk and she's really annoying and like rude and mean. So... Um, they don't hate each other, but, um, it's not like Tanner can really do anything because she's a little kid. His family is from Italy. Um, both of his parents are immigrants. And so Tanner is fluent in Italian because his mom is not that great at English. So he just speaks a lot of Italian in the house. Um, 
oh God, I don't know what else to say. He is a little stupid, but like not in like an intelligent way. Um, he is good at certain subjects in school. He just really could not be fucked to do anything. He's he's good at math. He just doesn't like it. And he like math is probably one of his better subjects, you know, as far as his grades go, just because his dad is his math teacher and his dad will like really clothesline him if he just doesn't do his math homework or whatever. Uh, so he just like a really disruptive, low key obnoxious character, but he's also really funny and he just, um, honestly, I feel like he just has like the purest, um, personality and he just like the purest kindest character that I have just cause like he truly, truly cares about his friends and just the people in his life that um, that mean a lot to him. And yeah, um, and like about his ex-girlfriend, Lucille, the abusive one, um, she was physically abusive and like, like beat him up and stuff. I've, I know people who were like abusive to their partners like whether it's like physically psychologically whatever and um I knew I know some abusive women some abusive men um so I just kind of wanted to put that in with this character just because it, it feel, it's real to me in my life and the people that I know so yeah <laughs> okay, but that's that's the reason why I've given him a black eye in this drawing, um, just to sort of, you know, it, um, illustrate that whole side of him because I never really do that. Um, but it's it's an important um, aspect of his life, even though it's a bad one. Um, let's see his favorite genre of music is both old school hip hop and R&B which I really love. It's not my favorite genre but it's a really really close one to me. Um and it just is very reminiscent of my childhood. So that's why I've made Tanner like that sort of thing just cuz um I mostly um, like, what, what was I going to say? Um, he's mostly inspired by me and just what I was going through, um, like, emotionally. Um, when I first started doing my comic, it was a comedy, by the way. Like, it touched on some really, really hard subjects and just had a lot of dark aspects to it, but it was a comedy. Um, it wasn't me, like making light of any of the situations. It was just me, you know, <laughs> coping with the bad things in their lives and in my life and just, yeah, okay, yeet. Let's see, um, okay, so the reason why Tanner has long hair is because um, he is very attached to it. Um, he's always had relatively long hair. It wasn't always this long, obviously, but when he was a kid, he did have like sort of uh, chin to shoulder length hair and it was really gross and ugly um, but his dad <coughs> excuse me his dad would make him get haircuts um, and he didn't really like that uh, he yeah so his dad would just like um, force him to get haircuts and it was traumatizing the way that he did it because his dad is really controlling and it just, it, he made it seem like, um, a do or die sort of thing. And now we just kind of like really attached to it because of how his dad would treat him, um, with the long hair and everything. It's kind of hard to explain, but, um... Yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. It, I really don't know. Okay, 
but yeah, he has a sort of attachment to his hair. It doesn't last forever. Um, when he gets to be like 22-ish, he kind of lets go of it and he manages to just cut it like a normal person. <laughs> Um, okay, my recording just totally got corrupted, and I need to just restate some things. Um, sorry. Um, so, as I was, what was I even trying to say? Um, fuck. It was like five minutes of recording gone. Okay, um, hmm. Um, okay, I don't think I talked about, um, why I like him, why I like, like, the thing that I favor most about him, or like one of the physical things. Okay, so Tanner is the only character that I have who has a specific um, outfit, you know, like SpongeBob or the Mighty Bee, you know, <laughs> like they just like have um, particular outfits for them, unless it, there's like a special concept that needs to be done where they're not wearing those clothes. Um, but yeah, his canon OG um, outfit is jeans, Converse, a t-shirt, a super dumb sweater, and a beanie, um, which he wears like literally all the time. Um, I never really draw him that way anymore. I, I sometimes put the sweater on him. It's the sweater that is oversized and has the little cut in the collar um that's that um but yeah like in the comic you like never actually know that he has bangs until later um but yeah um so hmm, okay he has beauty marks under his left eye which you'll see I, i'll draw it later but um yeah they're just beauty marks and then um you probably like I know that a lot of people don't know that that he has those just because I forget to draw them sometimes and they're a little hidden um but yeah they're there um and he also has a scar on his left eyebrow from when he was younger he got bit by a dog in the face um and he was very close to just like getting his whole whole ass eye ripped out but you know, he's lucky in that way. Um, um, what else? What else? <clears throat> um, his best friend is Daniel. Um, they met at a skate park when they were very young, maybe like fourth grade or something like that. Um, and his other best friend is Owen, who, like, just... That like Owen hated Tanner in the comic just like for a lot of reasons, but the main reason is just because he was really annoying and <laughs> rude. Like not he was rude in a friendly way, but Owen just didn't know, um, didn't really know his personality and didn't know that you know just being a dumbass to his friends was a sign of endearment. Um, but yeah, um, so. Uh, mo like nobody knows about um, his ex-girlfriend really she was um, a key character in my comic but I never draw her just because she's not a developed character she was specifically plot driven um, so yeah I really don't know much about her other than the fact that she's crazy and just a horrible person um, but his girlfriend that I do draw is Emily they don't meet in the actual comic because I discontinued it before I could actually introduce her but yeah um and he loves her um what else okay so um I don't draw it often but he like when he graduates high school which he manages to do um he goes to college and he goes with all of his friends what well, is his just Owen and Danny they go to the same college but Tanner drops out. <laughs> it's not funny because, like, it'd be like that. I tell my mom all the time that I want to drop out. Um, but, yeah, so he drops out. But it's it's fine because, like, when he's older, 
he becomes the big rich. So it's it's lit. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, what else can I say? I don't. I really don't know because I lost my recording. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. I think next time I'm gonna do Danny. So. If you like Danny, nobody really knows who that is, apparently. Um, yeah, so just uh, look out for that, I guess. And then next time, we'll be getting into some controversy with you-know-who. I will leave my um, social media in the description, just my Pinterest and my Instagram, because that's all I have for you. Um, so if you if you like Tanner, just... Um, check him out on my instagram i draw him all the time um and also look at his pinterest board you can see all of his ugly ass clothes bye <laughs>